Good day, children. I'm teacher Sulin Roderick. I hope all of you are fine and keeping in good health by the grace of God. Today, we will be doing chapter 4.5 in English, titled The Old Man and the Sea, a book review. This lesson will be done in two parts, which means you will have two videos of this lesson. The Old Man and the Sea is a book written by Ernest Miller Hemingway. Hemingway was a famous American novelist, a short story writer, a journalist, and a sportsman. His economical and understated style, understated style means a very simple style, not using a very grand manner of writing, was termed as the iceberg theory. He had a strong influence on 20th century fiction. While his adventurous lifestyle and his public image brought him admiration from all the later generations. A farewell, a farewell to Arms is one of his famous works. In this lesson, the writer reviews this book titled The Old Man and the Sea by Hemingway and the writer gives his opinion about this book. Now, what is a review? A review is an evaluation in which someone gives their opinion of a publication or a book or a movie or a musical composition or anything, in fact. I will now read this lesson part by part and explain it to you. The Old Man and the Sea, a book review. An old and experienced Cuban fisherman had a run of terrible bad luck and is unable to catch any fish for 84 days. His young and devoted apprentice, Manaulin, has been forced by his parents to start working with another fisherman. The old man resolves to sail out further than all the other fishermen and attempt to catch the really big fish. On the 85th day, he succeeds in hooking a marlin with his bait, but the marlin is too strong for him and starts pulling the boat. The Old Man and the Sea is the story of the old man's struggle with the marlin and his later battles against sharks. Now, the phrase a run off means one after the other. In this case, it means one after the other misfortune. The word apprentice means a person who works for another in order to learn a trade or develop a skill. The word devoted means loyal or faithful. The word bait means food, which is put on a hook to attract fish. Marlin is a type of large sea fish. In this paragraph, the writer gives us a short gist or a summary of the story of the old man and the sea. This story is based on a fisherman from Cuba who goes to catch fish but is unable to catch anything for almost 84 days, that is around three months. And because of this, he falls on bad times. Even his faithful and loyal apprentice named Manaulin is forced by his parents to leave this old man alone and start working for another fisherman. Then on the 85th day, the old man's luck changes for the better because he ventures into deeper waters and he manages to catch a big marlin. But yet things are not smooth sailing for this old man. He has to struggle against this fish which is big and strong and this marlin also starts dragging his boat into deeper waters. Later on this poor old man also has to fight off sharks. This is the gist that the writer gives of this book. We move on to the social and historical context with which the writer gives of this story. 
Hemingway's novel is based on real events and it also draws heavily on his own life. He had experience of fishing in the Cuban waters and like the old man, he was also a fan of baseball. He worked for the Red Cross during the First World War and was injured by Chapinel when he was in Italy. Hemingway always talks about the need to struggle against defeat or death and how determination and endurance can help one to win this struggle. The old man is, at the end of the novel, very near death, but we know that the story of his suffering and loss will live on in the memories of the people of his village. Ultimately, his story becomes one of triumph because of the tales of his life which will live on even after his death. The novel was published in 1952 when people were trying to recover from the mass destruction wrought by the two world wars. And this tale of endurance and ultimate triumph immediately struck a chord with the readers. The phrase draws heavily on means to use the knowledge about something in another area. The Red Cross is an international humanitarian organization aimed at removing human suffering. Chapinel is a fragment of a bomb or an explosive. The word endurance means the ability to withstand or to tolerate something. In this case, it would also mean to hold on to. The word triumph means victory. Ultimately means in the end. Tale means story. Mass destruction means a very great or a large amount of destruction. The phrase of will live on means will be remembered by. Wrought by means caused by or brought about by. The phrase struck a chord means agreed or approved of because of a similarity that is found. Now in this part of the review of this book, the writer talks about the mood of the people or the social conditions of that time and the historical events against which the story was written. This book was written against the backdrop of the world wars when there was widespread destruction and a lot of suffering. In fact, Hemingway draws a parallel between his life and the main character of this story, that is the old man. He makes use of his own experiences to color the personality of the old man. The writer tells us that through this story, Hemingway also encourages the people of those times to endure their suffering bravely. So, like the old man, they too would be victorious in the end. I will stop here and continue with the lesson in the next video.